Welcome back, everybody. I, st I sound the worst today. I know. As you can tell, after work, I came back and started and continued working on the... Um, on the... Chapter. Here's the question, I don't know quite what is going on on the other side of the wall. Maybe there's a... Maybe there's a... a doorway into the kitchen. The steampunk refrigerator just barely visible. <coughs> Hold on. I sound terrible, I know. I think I'm ready to start inking. Okay, I don't know why caps lock was on, but... So I'm thinking I'm gonna do it in two layers. One, two, one. On the table and everybody else is two. And then the background is three. Everybody else is gonna be on layer one. Every other panel is gonna be on layer one. get up a decent amount because I like to have a decent amount of um, and dynamics although everything could be a little smaller so maybe go down a little bit I'm trying to remember how to actually draw the air from this angle Let me go get some reference. Wait a minute. Welcome back. Um, what did I say? We're over three minutes. Yeah. Uh, so did some quick looking about. Air Commander does that. And the, uh, hold on. <coughs> Sorry for that fun bomb. Sound nasty, I'm sure. I don't sound quite as bad now. Um, then the anti helix comes out like that, and then the ear and Drake's ear looks humongous, but whatever. I can scale it down slightly. This is the first thing I draw through, anyways. <coughs> Maybe I'll skip it down some more. Just a little bit. Can't go too far, but. Known fact that I didn't know until uh, Tide Kubo pointed it out because he didn't know it. Hair does not our hair does not grow right behind the ear. It can grow over that space, but it cannot um, does not grow right here. Which 
Check it out on yourself. And there is nothing right behind your earlobe. It has a bald splotch of hair, and then the air tapers in from the hair basically tapers in from the top, and then cuts down from and around. I did not notice that until uh, it was pointed out to me by that interview about Ty 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 Kubo Launcher. I don't know where, where he, that where it was, but is he learn everything, new things every day? And even good artist. I, I consider Ty Kubo a fairly good artist. If some of his work is minimalistic. When he actually gives us, <laughs> when he actually cares enough to draw stuff, he, he draws really well. The heart. That's one of the cases where he's not really worried about drawing stuff. They could have at least like did a really simple outline of a heart, but no, just the heart. Next. And to be fair, I understand he was going for a, a cinematic view. I mean, everything fades to white, and you just hear LQR say, The heart. I feel like um, Okura wins that um, the the award for best Draco and leather pants award. For if you those who don't know, Draco and leather pants is um, the meme about people basically trying to turn bad characters good. In fan works, some fan fiction. I mean, I, I get it. Draco was supposed to be somewhat um more understandable in the books. You understood where he was coming from and all that, but still, it's just. A funny term to call characters who <coughs> basically treated their um like Ulkiora. He did not treat Ur or yeah or he may very well did did he? Hmm. It's early in the morning. do shut up. My brain's not running on all cylinders. He did not treat Orhime very well. Mm. Yet there are still um, Okihime shippers. Nothing against them, it's just it's a bit odd. To me. I guess there is a bit of an air of Beauty and the Beast with them. So it's more like Beauty and the somewhat androgynous creature from... Didn't want to call it what somebody called it on a YouTube video. I'm not going to call it that. because I don't want people to get angry at me. But it definitely would um, be what 
the uh, Bleacher Bridge would call Paco Mundo. At least the dumb characters like Kichiko would call it that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Ghost Mexico. Hey, hey, Chad. <coughs> I can't even do my Ichigo. I can't even do Ichigo's voice properly now. Because of how I feel. That's how much I feel. How bad I feel. Cop, cop, hack, hack. Actually, no, not really bad. I feel alright as a, as a personal level. Like, I can go to work and probably work. It's just, I can't speak worth crap today. It was like that yesterday, too. I couldn't yell, what, which is something I had to have to do. It's kind of relying on everybody else to yell for me. Because this pretty much took out my throat. If I yell at all, it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start talking like, uh, that one character from um, Monsters Incorporated. You know. Hello. But no, my, my view on, on, on how Ichigo, um, Ichigo would be the complete idiot. He'd be Goku, but, like, more of a surfer boy kind of personality. Like, hey! Instead of, uh, Goku's complete idiot, innocent foodie personality he has in WZ Abridged. And he would definitely call Hyco Mundo Ghost Mexico. Just because that's about right. For the dumb character to say. Now, is Hyco Mundo really Ghost Mexico? No. The character, it's based much more on Spain um, music and character wise than Mexico. But comedy and for uh, the sense of idiocy you get with these characters I think Ghost Mexico works for regularly I'm just imagining on um <coughs> them standing in front of the pillar the gate. Chad, we're going to Ghost Mexico. Chad just looks at him incredulously. Kurzaki, I believe that's, you know, you, know, you should chime in. I believe it's called Hueco Ghost Mexico. And she just cuts him off with that one. And of course, he'll countermand even the iron car when he's just calling it Coast Mexico, because you know that's that's within character for um maybe not Ichigo, but I mean that but that's um it's like DBZ a bridge kind of stuff to do. Coast Mexico. 
It's just not. <laughs> Duh, I forgot his name, but the uh, the one wind dude in uh, Wakamundo that almost. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I just like his character design. That guy. You know, the one that kept calling Ichigo boy. Don't know if Ichigo even caught that. <laughs> But Chad's like, oh, you do know that Nino means boy, right? He's calling you a boy. He's saying you're a child. <laughs> but Chad wasn't there, so Chad couldn't tell him that. I could definitely see there being a huge argument between him and um, that character. Actually, looking at the way the character is posed, I'm going to move the sketch. The entire sketch layer down. Because Drake is, uh, is more, has his back more, um, up because that seems to be the problem with what Jason's doing. It's not so much that he's um his body is shorter than Drake's that he's bending over to chow down even though nobody else has eaten yet. Which is not surprising. Jason's a bit of a Yeah see Drake's all unslouched while Jason's all like no 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 Chomp, 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 chomp. Cookie, cookie. <laughs> hey, Jason is not quite the cookie monster. But, <laughs> for this example, he is. There we go. And now everything else seems to be a little bit more. Because now that aligns with Drake's chair a little bit better. I'm just slouching over and being like, I'm num, num, num. Face is all scrunched up. Whatever he's eaten has, you know, bite marks or chunk, chunks taken out of it already. Don't know what he's eating. If he's eating the steak already, or he's chowing down on a. Uh, drumstick of the turkey or he's eating something huge it requires him to put a lot of effort into his his mastication <laughs> big words for those who don't know mastication means chewing sounds like another word doesn't mean that but uh the term mastication M A I don't know quite how that goes but it starts with an M means to chew and 
that's my little bit of um it's my little bit of useless knowledge I will share with you today. Mastication. It just sounds wrong. We're twenty minutes. We're getting there. It's funny with my um with how my voice sounds I could probably get away with being the head of everybody. We're gonna draw we're gonna eat for my comic today. <coughs> I do that every off every so often. Then it would break the magic. I haven't even added um, the title. I know where the title's gonna go. It's one of those stupid uh, chapters where everything happens and then the title happens because it would give away the name of the uh, the, uh, the, the the cliffhanger. Uh, portrayed at the end of the, the chapter. <coughs> Watch as I ink a chair. I wanted to make sure those chairs were right, though. That was the whole point. Um, something just gave up the ghost. I don't know what. Okay. Okay. False alarm. Sometimes, um, Gimp and Lazy Nazumi do some weird things when... Things don't work out quite the way they want them to. You know one thing I'm kind of messing up on? If you have a hell long dinner table like that, long dinner table um, cloth like that, usually your guests knees hook into the cloth like something like that, and so you can kind of see that happening. So in both of these cases, it happened so much with Drake. Drake's other knee, the other foot fell off. I have to I've gotta remember that's the one, the Zumid one.
one is somewhere right here-ish. And because it looks like that is, I can draw the rest. can make layer two. So we had three on record, right? So at 27, we should be done. to imply a um, tablecloth without directly drawing the line. Like the line right here should be visible. Got that big though. Mm, they should not taper off. They should stay constant almost. There should be some under his arm. And they should be way higher. Maybe about one under the arm, and they should stay about right here. Sounds right. And I actually did a pretty good job in keeping them the same height there on Drake's top. Go down a little because we can make the bridging that for. Time to draw food effectively. Or as I like to put it, time to make everyone who's watching this a little bit hungry. I 
my color didn't give in the right colors. It doesn't work quite as well, but whatever. You know what it's supposed to be. so that you can see them all and to get an idea as to what they do why they're there and we can save see y'all guys tomorrow hopefully I'll be feeling better and good enough to work out see y'all guys <coughs>